and uh, I should introduce myself and uh, talk about IT at Cork briefly uh, at the start. Uh, I, uh, Magdalena, I think, uh, told about her background. I taught marketing in uh, CIT and also UCC for many years, and uh, I work with IT at Cork now. So, uh, about clusters, a cluster is a geographic uh, concentration of businesses, uh, suppliers, service organizations uh, that work together in a particular sector. And uh, there's a representation there of, uh, of a cluster uh, there. And a little bit about IT at Cork. Uh, IT at Cork is a not-for-profit professional organization which represents the IT sector in the Cork area. And um, it has a few aims. Um, its, uh, its aims include to uh, develop Cork as a centre of excellence, uh, which is attracting uh, newcomers, uh, further uh, foreign direct investment, uh, encouraging uh, entrepreneurs and uh, growing and attracting ICT talent and supporting the uh, success and competitiveness of SMEs. Uh, furthermore, uh, Cork uh, looks to develop a further, a fully functioning uh, European tech cluster, uh, which uh, is uh, outward looking, which is uh, uh, developing new markets, developing new products, and uh, supporting its, uh, its member com uh, companies. Uh, just a w couple of words about IT at Cork, which was founded nearly 20 years ago, uh, and uh, more than 200 members, uh, up to maybe 250 companies, um, and these are made up of uh, ICT companies in software and hardware, SMEs, entrepreneurs, IT professionals, universities, uh, local authorities, uh, state supporters to business, and uh, we have strong representation of IT uh, companies uh, who are specialised in security, and also uh, specialise in cloud, uh, EMC and VMware are notable uh, companies there. Uh, and then uh, Be Wiser, which uh, is the main uh, topic, uh, the uh, idea of Be Wiser, it, uh, the name comes from uh, building enterprises, that's to help companies to grow, uh, and then uh, a second uh, objective is uh, to boost wireless and internet security in European regions. So we have seven ICT clusters uh, in seven countries and uh, we have a total of 12 member organisations. Uh, this is a Framework Programme 7 project uh, sponsored uh, by the European Union and uh, you can see the badges there on the countries. Uh, France is the leader, the Paris area, it's systematic. Uh, also uh, based in Barcelona, their Catalonia uh, company or organization called Euracat, which is a, a cluster, ICT cluster. Uh, Cyber Forum in Germany, based in Karlsruhe. Um, the IT, uh, ICT TN in Slovenia, and also one in Cyprus. The United Kingdom is uh, actually uh, their uh, partner uh, in the Wiser are based in Belfast because. Uh, Queen's University has a strong uh, research capability in IT security, a uh, thing called CSIT, the Centre for Secure Information Technology. Uh, and then uh, in Cork, uh, there are uh, two, uh, two academic institutions, CIT is one in Cork, and um, the other one is uh, Queen's in Belfast. Um, so uh, the goals of Be Wiser, uh, to help SMEs to grow and internationalize, uh, to strengthen the Cork ICT ecosystem by learning from top performing company, uh, clusters, I should say, ICT clusters. Also to raise the awareness uh, and improve practice in wireless and internet security and uh, improve the triple helix uh, by building links between industry, academia and government. Um, there's quite a bit of literature about triple helix. Uh, it's uh, about a, a cooperation and working together of industry, academia and government uh, in the interest of innovation. 
some of the activities in Be Wiser, uh, we began in the first few months uh, doing a SWOT analysis of uh, each of the seven cluster regions. Uh, then we uh, did um, a consumer survey about uh, people's approach to wireless and internet security and also uh, we held round tables in each of the seven regions uh, where we discussed uh, Be Wiser uh, tasks. And this led to a joint action plan which is a, a major part of the Be Wiser uh, experience. There are more details on our website, you can see it uh, mentioned there. Um, the, uh, uh, say a few words about the Joint Action Plan. A uh, Joint Action Plan is focused through uh, clear uh, four objectives. Uh, each objective is made up of action points and uh, each action point is assigned to a leader, a lead partner, uh, some uh, cooperating partners and also the, um, the source of the KPIs, the outputs uh, and the sources of finance are identified for each uh, each um, action point. Uh, so this summarizes the joint action plan. So we have uh, objective A, to raise awareness and improve cyber security practice uh, of um, citizens and also to fill gaps uh, in the cyber security skills of employees. Um, second one, B there, is to address the business needs of the I I ICT sector through development of technological and business relationships between actors uh, in be wiser clusters. Also to develop the uh, and influence uh, ICT policy uh, relating to security. And we take an interest in standards uh, for ICT and security. Uh, we have a, a member from CSIT who attends uh, meetings of Etsy very frequently and Senelec. Uh, these are technical standards organizations in uh, IT and IT security. Uh, objective three is to support the development of cybersecurity RDI initiatives and to help uh, SMEs and large companies gain access to R&D funding. And the last one is to strengthen the governance and operation of clusters uh, through um, mentoring, staff exchange and cluster matchmaking. Um, so I'm going to talk uh, for a few minutes about particular initiatives that grew from uh, Be Wiser. Uh, V-Link is the first one, it, uh, it comes from the initials there, visualization of linkages in networked clusters. And the idea here is that uh, we uh, map and categorize and uh, put on, a, put on a display on the map, I'll show it in a moment, uh, the uh, linkages or relationships which uh, companies have uh, with, uh, with suppliers, with uh, customers, with research, with uh, government agencies and uh, with uh, different uh, categories of people. Uh, and um, two of our colleagues in CIT, John Hobbs and Owen Byrne, interviewed 70 companies across the seven uh, ICT regions. And uh, the VLIC analysis then provides the basis for strategy proposals uh, for each of the clusters concerned. Uh, this is a map here showing uh, local uh, uh, linkages in the Cork area, national linkages uh, for, uh, based on ICT Cork, um, and uh, then uh, European linkages, and then international linkages. Uh, quite a few of these uh, European and international linkages uh, arise from the multinational firms. Uh, the uh, smaller firms uh, are not as well developed as you can imagine uh, compared to the multinational firms. Uh, so some recommendations from VLIC report for Cork. Uh, one is to provide financial support to develop the ICT cluster and to strengthen the services that we offer. Uh, secondly, to establish long-term partnerships between firms. Um, so maybe uh, direct subsidies uh, could be made available for innovative cooperative uh, projects. And th these are widely available in European countries. Uh, and then uh, the, to increase the rate of uh, SME internationalization, uh, IT at Cork is already offering some of these 
benefits and uh, SME matchmaking partnering with EU clusters well through be wiser that's uh, very much uh, that kind of activity uh, training on how to internationalize information on foreign markets and finance and other supports to internationalization uh, another activity of uh, be wiser is a uh, uh, trade missions. Uh, so uh, the reasons here are to help uh, SME members uh, to develop international business and indeed to strengthen European competitiveness. So in the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona uh, in two years, in uh, 2015 and 2014, it's held about February or March each year, uh, Be Wiser organized B2B uh, arrangements for uh, small companies uh, to uh, explain their offering and to try to uh, make, um, make um, business connections. Uh, four or five of the partners participated in GTEx, uh, that's a Gulf IT exhibition uh, in Dubai uh, last October. Um, and uh, right now, uh, a number of companies and uh, partners are in San Francisco uh, supported to some degree by Be Wiser um, uh, to uh, make connections and to uh, present their uh, their products and to uh, have a copy a copy of a brochure in the next slide. And we hope to uh, have a booth and have uh, business to business connections in InfoSec Europe uh, in London uh, early June. And. Um, uh, the left map on the left there it just shows the Be Wiser partners. But this is uh, the cover of a brochure uh, talking about the current uh, visit to Silicon Valley, and uh, the, uh, there's also a business delegation tour besides uh, attending the RSA Security Conference, which is uh, I think the top conference in uh, IT security in the world. RSA is a unit of ENC actually. And that's happening right now in California. Another uh, thing that uh, Be Wiser developed is Be Wiser Connect, which is a portal uh, of the 70 companies who participated in Vlink. And uh, the website is displayed here. And uh, all of the companies are named. And it is possible then for companies to uh, make connections with any other company uh, that were engaged in Vlink. Uh, it's shown here on the next slide. Uh, these are the 16 core companies which were uh, uh, interviewed for V-Link, and the, this one here uh, should show uh, show the uh, the form that you fill if you want to make a connection with uh, another uh, uh, company. Uh, business roaming agreement. This one uh, is. Um, uh, the, yes, there, this is a facility to help uh, small firms to internationalize. And the idea is that uh, company uh, clusters uh, sign up to this. So there are 57 clusters in 87 locations, most of them in Europe, a few in the Far East, and uh, some in North America. And the idea is that um, an SME who wants to visit a cluster area where the other party is, has signed up uh, to the business roaming agreement, the SME gets a, a free uh, desk for a week uh, with no obligation to buy or to pay or anything like that, uh, plus a, a use of a phone, plus a internet, and uh, also the general supports and advice to do with um, uh, business supports that you might need, HR advice or uh, introductions to uh, business companies and so on. We're coming to the end. Uh, deal broker is a thing which IT at Cork does to introduce small firms to large indigenous companies and also to, uh, S uh, to uh, the multinational firms who are uh, Cork based. So this is to help uh, SMEs and companies, uh, uh, tech companies who are looking to scale up. And um, IT at Cork provides some training uh, in pitching uh, in this sort of circumstance because uh, that was noted as, uh, as required and this, this will be coming up in May this year. Uh, just uh, to close, uh, I'll point out that 
uh, the European Union and several countries uh, give uh, financial support to clusters to help them to uh, perform and to grow. Uh, I'll name a few of them there. Uh, and um, a senior official from DG Growth uh, at a conference last uh, April said that clusters are the DNA of smart specialization. And I list uh, two or three, uh, three actually, um, websites which the European Union pays for and supports, uh, which are uh, about, uh, this, uh, the cluster collaboration is about uh, finding customers abroad and uh, linking uh, clusters with uh, people in uh, Asia and in South America and uh, wherever there are markets. Um, the cluster observatory is a kind of a database of uh, clusters and uh, statistical uh, backup of clusters. And cluster analysis uh, is about uh, quality management labels. So we have uh, gold label clusters if they're well managed and then silver label and there's uh, also um, bronze label. Uh, this one here is an example the French call the clusters poles de competitivité and um, here uh, I have produced the, uh, the um, URL for their uh, brochure in English. I don't know that you'll be able to catch that just now. And uh, I just say that clusters need to have a stable financial framework uh, in order to uh, be effective. And mature clusters tend to have 50-50 between government funding and uh, private funding. Uh, so uh, I'm saying that in Ireland and in some of our partner clusters, uh, countries as well, notably Slovenia and Cyprus, uh, we need to uh, convince the government and policymakers that they should provide some money uh, to support clusters, as this, this is a rather effective way of improving uh, innovation. And uh, I'm now finished. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone have any questions for Michael? I'm sure Michael's around anyway, for the next couple of minutes.